Hello and welcome to Jewelry Rescue. If you're new here, I'm Kat and I'm a girl on a mission to rescue and recycle the world's unwanted jewellery. Today we're going to be looking through four lovely customer donations which have come into my retail concessions. I'm going to be looking for things that I can upcycle, restore and resell in my eBay, Etsy and retail stores. If you're new here, please do consider subscribing below and of course, if you like what you see, drop me a thumbs up. Let's see what we've got. Let's take a look in this nice looking gift bag first of all. I think that's everything it's very nicely been wrapped in tissue for us looks like a bag of earrings check out these beauties isn't that pretty that's all been hand bead worked boho style they'd be great for a festival wouldn't they and they're a little bit native american looking in their style as well with the arrow shape and the turquoise beads very pretty and i can see there's another one there so those will go on to new hooks I've had these in before. These were big around the year 2000. Shell dangles, aren't they brilliant? They're huge. I may put those onto a new hooks or I may separate them out and make smaller earrings with them. No, I think we'll put them on new hooks. They're awesome, aren't they? Let's see if the other one is intact. Oh, it's got one broken shell at the bottom, but as I say, I've had these style of earrings before, so I'll see if I've got a match that I can swap over for that one and rescue them. These are pretty. They've got an accessorised look about them. There's some nice um, Clausoni enamel beads on there. I'm not sure whether I will reuse those beads or just put them onto new hooks. I shall decide later. There's its pair, look good. Excuse my plasters, by the way, I cut myself last night. And these ones are missing a sparkle from there, unfortunately. So it may be a case of just using these little parts to make something new. Very sweet. Another pair of dangles there. They'll probably just go onto new hooks as well. Oh, a lovely woodpecker look. I think that's an RSPB charity badge. Oops. He'll probably go into a job lot of pins. And a J. That looks like silver. Let me just check. I think it's got a little mark on it. This one does say sterling on the back. So it's a nice little J pendant. That will just be cleaned up and listed. Really sweet. This looks like it could be silver as well. Elephant pendant. Yes, that's got a 95 on the bale there. That's a lovely chunky piece. Very sweet. And there's some elephants here. I think that's probably coconut shell. Vintage ones that will go on new hooks. And then we've got a couple of gold looking pieces here. Let's have a look at these. We'll do a little magnet test. Not magnetic, let me just check for marks. I can't see any marks on either of these two pieces, but having looked through the loop, my feeling is that this one is just a gold plated stud. And this one I think is probably a nine carat gold hoop, but I can't see any markings on it, so it will need testing. The reason why I think that is just the way that it's been constructed at the close, it just, has the look of a more quality piece than costume and it's the, the color is consistent and it's not magnetic so it's showing quite a few signs there and i will have to test that later it's obviously very light so you know it's not a piece it's not fortune but gold is gold right so let's wrap those up again and get them out the way okay we've got some random little bits there's a little crystal there which I will keep because I have a little pot of those that I use for replacing bits that are broken. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe something to do with a watch strap or something. And we've got a magnetic clasp bracelet. And that looks like cork. Quite interesting. A nice handmade brooch. That's very sweet. A 
This has got a 95 mark and a little X on the back. Does anybody know that mark? I'll have to look that up. It looks like a cubic zirconia piece. Very sweet little pendant. That's lovely. This has the look of silver as well. Oh, this has got a proper set of assayed hallmarks along the bottom here. And some pretty stones. Let me just see what those marks say. So we have the Maker's Mark SG. SG. Anybody know that? And a 925, so it is silver and the lion's head. There's no date letter, which I can't understand. So I'll look into that piece a little bit more. And I will test those stones on the Presidium as well. Isn't that pretty? I've got a right old mix in here. Oh, that's one of these. I don't know. I'm not even going to attempt to say that name, but I found a few of these recently from this brand. Um, quite a nice brand. This just needs a really good clean. I might pop that one in the old Sonic and see how it comes out just for fun. Nice costume necklace, but sadly missing lots of its stones. That must be the one we found before. It's got quite a cheaply made clasp, so perhaps it is modern. That would make a fun pair of earrings, actually, wouldn't it? If I could replace those crystals. Put that aside for a project. We know these bits aren't silver because they're all stuck to this magnet. That's pretty. That's like the one we looked at before, but it's been coated with a turquoise colour. It's obviously been very well loved because it's well worn. It's got a cool clasp on it. A similar style costume necklace, which is broken, but also missing lots of stones. I might make earrings out of the parts or perhaps another pendant. Be fun to craft with. This little star looks like it might have a mark on the back. DK. DK. I can't think what that is. Shout at me in the comments. It's pretty. It's a costume one, but it's a nice, um, nice brand. That one, I think, was the one that was stuck to the magnetic bracelet. So that's definitely a costume one. I've got a bit of key ring. A bit of something. This one was also stuck to the magnet. That's gone down to its base metal. I would probably make that into a children's charm. And that's another bit of whatever that was. Oh, this has been sadly lost to Verdigris. What brand was it? Ash Ashiana? Ashiana. These are freshwater pearls, so I will save those. And that one might be a gemstone. So I'll save the bits I can from that one. And there's the other one of those sparklies. This is a very pretty freshwater pearl stud and I suspect that's probably on silver oh there are some nice marks on that let me just have a look oh, it says 95 silver pretty one let's hoover up any magnetic studs from here just some plain costume ball studs what is that oh I wonder if that's it looks like you put something through it perhaps it's something to do with body jewelry I'm not sure and I wonder if these ones here are probably belly bars or eyebrow bars there's another one of those in pink. Let me know if you know what those are. And then I suspect that these are sterling 
studs. I used to sell these when I worked at Claire's Accessories back in the day. There's two pairs of those. That was a nice little bag of things as well, wasn't it? Oh, there's a ball there. I think that's probably come off the end of one of those belly bars. Yeah. Lovely. Okay, on to the next bag. And I have remembered what the last bag is. That's going to be an exciting one. So can't wait to get on to that one. Let's see what's in this one. Another mixed, interesting looking lot. That's a big old bead that will go into children's workshops. And these are not beads. They don't have any holes in them. Isn't that amazing? Wow. My girls will love those. I might give them to my, my daughters and their best friends because there's four of those. They will love those. This looks like it's probably an enhancer. Oh, yes, it is. It's hinged. So if you haven't seen these before, you would take your, your beaded necklaces and then clip it over to give it a focal. Costume one, probably 80s. That's a fun one. We've got some vintage clasps here, which might be useful for fixing some vintage necklaces. Pretty glass beads. They've got a lovely shine to them. I suppose they probably came off whatever those hearts came off. Horses. That says 1975. What does it say there? Mimi D N D M I M I D I N 1975. That's another one to look up. So that's I guess a clasp for something. Can't see any other bits below. That's really cool. I'll see what I can do with that brooch which is an exquisite brand one fun clip on earring that looks 80s as well doesn't it I might make that into a pendant because it looks like there's only one of those I think this was a spider but it's got squished sadly I'll check it with the magnet not magnetic just wondering if it might be silver I think given the colour of it, it's probably a base metal that's been plated and it's a bit squished, sadly. I'm not sure what we'll do with that one. Is it a spider? I think it's a spider. And we've got some faux pearls that have gone sticky and lost their coating. Nice vintage clasp though, that will probably clean up and can be reused. And this looks like silver that's tied around it. Let's see if we can get this one off. I think that's a knot to be looked at later on. It's not magnetic and it looks like vintage silver. There's some kind of marking there. I'm not sure that says anything. It's too tarnished at the moment. This is the sort of piece, though, that I wouldn't want to bring back up to a high shine because, of, because it's vintage. It's a really cool one. I have to keep an eye out on my shorts to see what I do with that one. Vintage costume ring. Might be a child's one, maybe. Quite cool. This is a bookmark. You can add a charm there, so I will certainly do that. Heart ring. That could have something glued to it to be reused. Uh, I think this is an elastic bracelet that's popped. These have got holes in to be threaded. That's quite sweet. So I'll prob probably put that back together. Nice little glass cabochons. Ah, that's the other pearl. That is interesting. These two bags must have come from the same person, but at different times. So these um, first three bags have been dropped off into my retail concessions. So I don't know who they come from. So I wonder if maybe they did one bag and then they did another one and found the pair. So we've got a lovely pair of peacock pearl 
studs. Lovely. These are fun. Charm dangles. I will reuse those bits. They're not quite matched, are they? They're a mismatch, which is fun. Um, they're just on costume wire, so I'll move those onto new ones. I've got a tassel. I've had these in before and made those into earrings. Bit of a vintage clasp. That's the other one of those star earrings. Ah, there's more of these, so perhaps they did match. <laughs> that must have been a set. So I'll reuse all the bits on those. That's fun. Another one of those sparkly beads and a hoop, a set of hoops. I'll probably hang something from those. I'll look at this packaging, some vintage beads. They're fun, I enjoy making those. They're sort of faux pearls. Some jump rings. Let's see what's in this little bag. Oh, some nice cloisonne enamel beads. So those will go on to new earring hooks. That's a European style charm. I don't think it's silver. I think it's also probably missing a little sparkle from there. Very cute nonetheless. Who's <laughs> this little guy? <laughs> Sweet little hedgehog. I'll make him into a pendant, probably put it on a children's length chain. Oh, look at this little clog. It's so cute. Oh, sorry, you can't see it. <laughs> Isn't that cute? A little clog charm that's probably tarnished silver. We'll see how far that cleans up. A piece of glass, it could be a Murano like this one. No markings on that. I think it was just a little costume one. And then this is one of these cages that you can open up and put in your own gemstones. That's very sweet. It's got some nice stones in there, so I'll put that onto a, a long chain. Wow, what lovely things. Thank you very much, whoever dropped these into the shops. They are lovely, and I shall enjoy working with those. Okay, now... The last bag I had totally forgotten until I peeked in the top a second ago. This came from my mum. So this is bits of jewellery from her own collection that she didn't want anymore. Some of it has been donated for recycling and other bits are for me to keep in the family. So let's see what's inside. I'm excited about this one. So I have seen these pieces before, but I wanted to show you on camera. So I did a short recently of some of her amazing jewellery. She's got some really lovely um, silver pieces. You can see in one of my recent shorts. Look at this gemstone pendant. That's an agate, I think, that's been dyed. Really stunning. That will go, this is just on a, like a vegan cord. That will go onto a chain, I think, because it's so nice. This one I get in all the time. Um, I've got quite a few of those. I will probably just do something different with the chain. This stretchy, I think I actually picked up for her in a charity shop a few years ago when she used to live by the seaside because they reminded me of sea glass. So I'll take that apart and use the beads for new things. Lovely piece of artisan dichroic glass. That's really pretty. There's no markings on it. I think it was just a tourist piece from somewhere. I don't think it's a Murano one. Oh, look at these. These were in my short. So these are not silver. I think they're probably alpaca. It says Alaya, copyright 1991. And she and I both bought pairs of earrings from this place I can't remember where we were now we were on holiday somewhere either in the UK or in France and they're enamel so I've got moons that are on a dangle and she had these ones so those ones are staying in the family I will hang on to those and these are just some 
Pandora style beads. I'll probably take that apart. Lovely bit of abalone shell in a costume setting. Some feather earrings, they'll just go onto new hooks. I think that these are all pairs in here. That goes with that. That was a nice little costume set. There's lovely dancers. That looks like pewter. Oh, it's missing one of its backs there. Very cute. Whoops. Little charm bracelet. This is a costume one, but with really nice charms on. So a couple of people have recommended me um, plating pens or paint to put back on silver plates. So that would be a really cool thing to try that with. I'm going to try and source that and that will be coming in a future video. Another one of those. These barley style hoops, unfortunately, one is broken. Might be able to fashion a new hook for that. If not, I'll sell one and the other one will be scrapped. knight on a horse he looks like pewter as well he's quite fun look at these lovely vintage guitars i think those might have to stay in the family are there um alpaca mexico ones they're so lovely yeah i'm not sure if i could bring myself to list those because i can remember my mum wearing those when i was a kid there's more barley hoops those just need to clean up. I put a pair of these into the ultrasonic in my last video and then they cleaned up so nicely. The tarnish came straight off but left the oxidisation in them. They came out really well. Ah, this one isn't a pair by the looks of it. We've got one dragon. A brass one by the look of it. So he'll be made into a pendant and again he might need to stay in the family. These ones I definitely took for myself. How cool are these? Naked lady danglies. Have to be careful where you wear those, I suppose, but they're too cool. Lovely lamp work bead. That I think I will move on to something else, maybe a chain. Um, because this is just a tired piece of leather. In fact, it's snapped. Oh, no, it hasn't. It's just missing the end of its clasp. But I'll freshen that up. That will go on to a new chain. These ones are polymer clay to look like troll beads. I'll probably put those onto a chain as well, like those artisan ones. This is a faux Pandora. Might put the beads off that other necklace onto it. And this is a tricolour bangle. My mum's got tiny wrists like me. In fact, she's even tinier than me. That one will be a fun one to clean up. I'll look forward to cleaning that one up. And then there's a few bits in here. Check these out. Oh, my goodness. So these ones will stay in the family for sure. Mixed metal 80s stud drops. And those will be silver. From Peru. It says I don't, I don't think she's ever been to Peru. They must have been come from a gift shop or something. Now these ones my uncle actually made. He used to be a jeweller when I was very little, and he made them for my mum for a present. So they're very heavy. I think they're pure silver rather than ninety five, and those will definitely stay in the family. And then these ones were just costume, but really pretty sort of Art Deco style. So I did manage to get my hands on a few pieces from her lovely collection and there's also some other bits to upcycle as well. I've really enjoyed looking through these bags. There's been some great things. Thank you if you were the donator. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. If you don't already, please do consider subscribing. Drop me a like and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.